This is SAT test one, non-calculator question number seven. Which of the following gives P in terms of M, R, and N? The full question tells you more about what those are, but they give you a formula for M, and all the answer choices are solved for P, so that clarifies what they're asking for if you stumble over the long words in the full question. Looking at this, answer choices C and D, this term and the entire denominator disappear. That comes from a common error of canceling a factor of the numerator with a term of the denominator. You can ne never cancel terms in a fraction. You can only cancel factors. So instead of trying to cancel this with this, I'm going to cross multiply. The right hand side has this whole expression for a denominator. I'm going to multiply both sides by that expression, which gives me 1 plus r over 1200 the n minus 1, that entire quantity times m equals my old numerator, r over 1200, 1 plus r over 1200 to the n times p. And I'm trying to solve for p. p is multiplied by these two factors, so I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by the same factors, r over 1200. If I divide the right-hand side by r over 1,200, I divide the left-hand side by the same thing, r over 1,200. And 1 plus r over 1,200 to the uppercase n. If I divide the right-hand side by that expression, I have to divide the left-hand side by the same expression, 1 plus r over 1,200 to the uppercase n. This whole expression on the right other than the p, r over 1200 divided by r over 1200 is 1. 1 plus r over 1200 to the n divided by 1 plus r over 1200 to the n is also 1. So the right hand side is p times 1 is p. The left hand side is 1 plus r over 1200 to the n minus 1 divided by r over 1200. 1 plus r over 1200 the n, and that whole thing is multiplied by m. Comparing this with my first two answer choices, because I already ruled out c and d, my numerator is supposed to be 1 plus r over 1200 to the n minus 1, so that is choice b. Come back soon for my next SAT math video. With math, there is always more.